the MacCoach.com. We're glad to see you here again today. Now, if you're following along, you've just finished the Getting Started videos of Numbers. Now, in those videos, we talked about the interface, how to, how to customize the interface, the template chooser, and then a brief overview about what Numbers is. Now, in this video, what we're going to do is clarify a few terms before we start working with Numbers. Now, the first thing we want to talk about is Sheets. What the difference is between Sheets and Spreadsheets. Now, as we know in Numbers, Numbers is a spreadsheet program. But it's not your traditional spreadsheet program. And this is where we need to clarify a few things. Now, as you might be used to in Microsoft Excel, for example, and other spreadsheet programs, now that is that spreadsheets are an infinitely large table. They go in both directions, as large as you want to them to, and they don't seem to end. And so your sheet in these other programs is the same thing as your spreadsheet. There is no way to reorganize data to have multiple tables or charts. Everything is just goes on forever. Now in contrast, numbers is a little bit different. Numbers has sheets or pages. Now pages might be a little bit better image to describe these. Now sheets in numbers can have multiple objects on them. We, most often we have tables and we have charts. We can also have text boxes or images as well and many other different kinds of objects. Now with numbers, we're going to create these sheets, which is like a page. Just imagine a page like in a book. You can have multiple pages, just like you'd have multiple pages in a book. Those multiple pages, are, as, or as we call in numbers, sheets, these multiple sheets make up our document. Now each of these sheets are unique. Each sheet can have any combination of tables, charts, text boxes, images, or anything else you might want to add to your numbers document. Now we can flip the page and go to another sheet. Now this sheet might only have a chart. The next sheet might only have a table. And the sheet after that might have any combination thereof. But each of these sheets are unique, and each sheet acts as a page that holds tables and charts. Now tables are like we can expect in any other spreadsheet program. These are the spreadsheets of numbers. Now these tables don't go on forever. These tables are finite. We choose how many columns and rows we want. Of course we can always add more or take away, but we choose this finite size for our table. That way we can add multiple tables on a document and have charts that link to those tables. Now a chart is anything that contains data. It's a representation of data. We have line charts, line graphs, bar graphs, pie graphs, all sorts of different kinds of graphs and ways to show data. And those connect to our table, they get their information and they're created based on the information we put in our tables. Now they can also link to multiple tables within our sheet or even within other sheets. But they always represent our data and they might go on the same sheet or on another, on another sheet. So that's what charts are, we know what tables are, and we know what sheets are. Those are the three most important things you need to understand when using numbers. Okay, now looking in greater detail at sheets, we're going to dive into numbers. So as you can see here, we have a numbers document open. We're looking at the first and only sheet in our document right here. As I scroll down, this is the bottom of the sheet. You can see that there are one, two, three, four, five tables in here, one chart, and a text box. Now this is also reflected over here in our sheets viewer. You can see that we have this sheet as labeled here. It's named personal budget as we also have the title up here. And then you can see that we have right down the side five tables and one chart. We've also named each of these tables and the chart. So you can see how well organized numbers can be. We have our sheet, our tables, charts, text boxes, all of our media inside of our sheet. And it's all organized inside of these, this sheet view. Now I can close this by clicking the little triangle here. And now I see just the sheet. Now the significance of this becomes more apparent as we add more sheets. Now adding more sheets is easy. Come up to this button up here and click Sheet. There's a little plus there indicating that you're adding a new sheet. And now it's added a sheet with a default table. Now no names have been added other than Sheet 2 and Table 1. But here I can make this, 
this table to meet my needs. I can drag it up here and then resize it using this icon down here. As I resize it to meet my needs, I now have a table. I can add another table by clicking one up here. I'm going to add a checklist. As I move stuff around in my document, you can see there's easy aligned guides, such as this blue guide, guide right here, that help me align my document more perfectly. Now I can move over here, align these both up on the side. And moving things around on these sheets is as easy as moving something around in a Pages document or a Keynote document. It's all very much the same. Once I get it where I want, I can click outside of the table, and then all that goes away. And now I have my chart, my tables right here. When I'm ready to make a chart, I come up here to Chart, choose my chart, and now I've added a chart here in the middle of the document. Now there's no information, I need to add some information before I can have my chart in here, but you can see how easy it is to add media to your document. Now I'm going to close the inspector palette here, come over to and view our sheet views. You can see now that we have two separate sheets. As I click these sheets, I highlight everything within this sheet, and I'm looking at this sheet here. And when I click this sheet, I look at this sheet here, and by clicking each of these items under here, I highlight each respective item. So that's how easy it is to move around and navigate using the sheet viewer in our documents. I can have as many sheets as I want inside of numbers, and as many items on the sheets as I can fit. Once again, moving them around is as easy as dragging and dropping, and then inputting the information is as easy as typing it on your keyboard. Now if I want to close these up, I can toggle the triangles here, and now this closes them up so I can see more sheets, and by double clicking the sheet name, I can rename it. Clicking enter will save that, and I can do the same thing with any of the tables. So there you go, it's that easy to use the sheets. Now that we understand these three important features of numbers, it's going to make a lot more sense as we listen to these tutorials, and also as you start working with numbers for yourself. So let's go ahead, let's start putting this knowledge to great use.